going in right I, now. I, I, I let him know what's up. He ain't going nowhere. That's my what? son. That's my what? only son. At some point, he got to go. Never no time. I mean, at some point, he Never got no go. time. Man. Never no time. Are you charging for it? Well, tell me, Christian. You, no, you tell him. Well, you talking about you grown and you got to go somewhere. I told him, you I understand you ain't going no damn way. You go when you get ready. Man, I just feel at some point you need to um, make your own way. That's that's what I, you know, I, I be going to walk through the house naked sometime and there you go. You know, so, uh, I mean, what, you know? No, if anything, you can go, not him. How about well, that? I want to pay the bills in here. I you gonna tell me where I can go? But the thing is, like, why do I got this? My mama house, like, why do I got to leave my mama house? Period. Man, you damn near forty years old. <laughs> damn near, it's time to go. I mean, at what I'm point? 20, I'm twenty nine. I'm not well, damn near forty. Well, that's pretty good. Ten but years away. But you know what? When yeah. I met you, you was living with your mama. Man, please, you I was, was living with your, out. Come on, you was man. Living with I, your mama. I, I was only twenty two years old. Now you gonna time. tell me because he he twenty nine. I ain't getting up. I ain't getting up. I'm not getting up. I'm, man, I'm not he going has nowhere. to go. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, my mama house. Well, and you ain't gotta go nowhere. You know what? Damn, they ain't gonna pay no bills. Bills either, then, damn it. Now, how you feel about that? You don't want him to go? I won't pay the bills. Uh, but he gonna continue to pay the bills. He got to go, though, man. It's too much. See, we arguing and stuff about stuff. Because, you well, know, at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, all y'all do is tell me to help. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It's like, man, you so grown ass man. man. You supposed to know the, oh, man, the garbage over field. You supposed to know to take that outside. Come on, man. I don't have to tell you all this stuff, man. But the thing is, I'm barely here, so I'm barely making garbage. So if I got to the garbage shop, I'm barely here. If I'm barely here, barely making garbage, barely making dishes, like, why do I got to do anything? Well, she gonna I always right. make excuses for you, man. But right, he don't even be here. So what? What is you talking about? He don't be here like that. He come here, well, he sleep, and then he don't he business the rest out. of the day. When he's here, he need to help out. He need to do some things. He well, need I to tell be you what, he ain't okay. no well, bills. Okay, well, damn it, he, he gonna start up. paying some bills around. But I ain't paying. But I gotta pay. I'd rather for him to fuck out. But listen, my mama said I gotta pay no bills. I ain't gonna. I'm not. I ain't paying no bills. He gotta pay. What I want him to do is save his. And do what he see, need to do with his see, money you the and why not he is pay no bills. Because it, all this soft shit you bring into him, he still got the titty in the mouth. You let oh, all that stuff no. go on. Nah, you know what that, I know? That, that, you know, you jealous. You jealous of my son. Like you would say you that. jealous of my son. Only you would say some bull crap. But I don't like know that. if you jealous or not, but I just know I ain't getting on my mama's house. Like, if, you, if, yeah. if I got to get on my mama's house, you got to put me on my mama's house. That's the end of the day. Well, damn it, I'm going to be carrying you. You got to go. Oh, you don't mean you want to carry them both out then. If ain't that's the case. I know why we're carrying them out. I just shoot them on out. And you, Michael, Michael, now you know good and damn well I'm not kicking my son out. Well, well, what point? Well, I ain't respect him. I ain't worried about it. Like, if, if, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm here. I live here, so until I'm ready to get out, I'm going to be here. So it don't at what me. point is you trying to... Uh, what, what, what What's your plans for this man? What's, my plan, what's, what's, my what plan is to stay in here as long as I need to stay in here. That's my and plan. What if he 45, 50? And, and he's going to be 45, 50 no, up in here. Crazy as hell. You, what, what, damn it, I'm going to be out there. Bye. Bye. No, Bye. He's going. He's Bye. going. He's going to Get the step in. Get the step in. Because going. this my no, only son. son. He ain't going nowhere. That's what's my going. only son? Shit. You the one made him like this. Because yo, we dad, you, know you what? made him. Come and go, your son is forever. Man, I see what I'm saying. You better go. I see, I see what I'm saying. That's 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 right. And, and, and like and I see, said, you, you made him this way. You made him no, this I way. Ain't make him this this way. is a product of I, your. I, sh I ain't making this, this, this way. This, this like is a product I said, of it your ain't like bad he don't, your bad choice. It ain't like he don't know how to get out here. Like I said, when he ready to go, he okay. Go. So look, I'm gonna first off read read some Whoa. of the red flags. Then we're gonna play it back again. Okay. Um, so one of the red flags, of course, with this one was, of course, not encouraging him and supporting him in their quest to become independent. Uh, that, that is on the mother's side. Okay. Uh, not encouraging the boys to embrace their own masculinity. It's very important to do that. And I'm going to tell you where these things show up. Okay. Uh, and of course I'm going to say that, uh, single mothers often do this to their son, uh, do the son, do their sons a disservice by not encouraging them to be masculine. Instead, they shame their boys about expressing their masculinity and in some cases punish them for it, okay? Or they'd say something like, well, he can be here till he's 50. Um, yeah, you may love him enough to where he can be there till he's 50, but you wanna challenge your son to grow. And I don't mean saying you get out of here when you get 18 either, but it does mean encouraging him to be independent, to take those chances in life. You understand? 
I'm a parent who, who definitely not going to be kicking my kids out just because they turn another age, just because mm -hmm. they reach what we call adulthood. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do, but that's because they're going to be saving money to buy their homes cash. I don't believe in kicking my kids out either. Mm -hmm. So I do understand where she's coming from saying, ain't no man about to come in here and tell my son to leave. Mm -hmm. I get that part. But your son is still there because you did not raise him to be independent. Absolutely. And that's what the other man is saying. Okay, Absolutely. so um, another thing was uh, not encouraging them in their quest to become independent men. I said that. Uh, the, another one was uh, bringing in substitutions for their father. As you can see, mm -hmm. that man is not going to get the respect of his father. The man said, if you want me to get out, you're going to have to make me get out. You're going to have to put me out. Mm -hmm. Right. And then as he's still talking with the mother, the son is now interrupting in their conversation okay mm -hmm. not to say he shouldn't i definitely can understand why he feels a way too like y'all talking about putting me out and i'm just right here in the fridge you probably could have told me i needed to contribute but who should i had to tell you that mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you should contribute because you're grown number mm -hmm. one you, you're old enough to contribute number two you have a place to stay so it doesn't matter how many dishes he eat you would wash dishes or take out the garbage because you're appreciative to have a place to stay. Absolutely. This is why. If you were to stay mm -hmm. at a hotel tonight, it's going to cost you a couple hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. So you can't wash the dishes and take out the trash while you're there mm -hmm. and make their life a little easier. Mm -hmm. If you let me use your car, I'm going to fill the tank up. I'm not going to say, well, I only went from here to there. Why? Well, I got to do all of that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say, why didn't you just tell me to do that? No, I'm going to know in my mind, I'm going to hook you up because mm -hmm. I don't want you to dread mm -hmm. letting me use your car. Absolutely. I want you to say, man, hey, I'm at, I'm, I want care. I want Kevin to use my car because it, it, it benefits me because he fills the tank up. I don't want you to dread me using it because you know I'm just going to bring it back where I left mm -hmm. it. And so it's no benefit to you at all. Mm -hmm. This is what men do. For you helping me out, I appreciate that. You let me Absolutely. stay here. This is what I'm going to do in return. So I, I kind of get a little bit about where everybody's coming from. Mm -hmm. You understand? But I want you guys to see how, just to see this, that boy wouldn't be who that boy is today if he had been pushed and encouraged mm -hmm. like, you would, like you're supposed to push and encourage a man, a mm -hmm. boy, to become a man. And that's that code just codependency as well Absolutely. because he still he's lives there. even repeating everything his mother says if mm -hmm. she says i don't have to pay rent then i don't have to pay rent Absolutely. if she says i don't have to take the garbage out i don't have to take the garbage but out but she's saying this he's saying this to a man who's paying the bills absolutely i thought i thought if you pay the cost you get to be the be the boss mm -hmm. so he could have just said to the man because i respect your authority we mm -hmm. men talking i'm mm -hmm. a, if, if, if i'm a man talking not arguing from a child's point mm -hmm. position i wouldn't say if mama said it and that's the case absolutely. i would say well look man to man you pay the bills. I appreciate you taking care of the things you do for mama and all that and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted me to be able to take out the trash, all you had to do was say it. At least mm -hmm. y'all can establish it from here. The man would have been saying, ain't nobody got to tell you that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you feel your way, I feel mine. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is I'll start taking out the trash. Mm -hmm. I, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll work my way into getting out. Didn't know, didn't know it was like that. Mm -hmm. And the mother should say, Son, I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. Not not don't do that because she knows it's better. It's, it is, she should encourage the mm -hmm. son to get out. Not like, mm -hmm. not in a negative way, like what is happening. Mm -hmm. But she should be behind that. You see, she shouldn't be arguing for the for the um, for the for the opposite of him mm -hmm. getting out. She's it sounds like she's trying to keep him there. You and see what I'm saying? And then she also told the man who's paying her bills he can go ahead and leave. Not now, now pay the bills to keep her son there, which shows that she's just as codependent on him mm -hmm. as she's making him towards her. Well, she's codependent on her being a mother. See, that's my only son. Ain't no way I'm putting my son out. So you can tell she definitely takes pride, and you should. You should take pride in, in being a mother. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I get that. But at the same time, like you said, it's not wise because she's telling the person who's paying the bills mm -hmm. that he can just go. Absolutely. Like, wow. Right. Mm -hmm. But look, teaching their sons to disrespect male authority mm -hmm. and male and, 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 and uh, male authority figures. Um, another one was um, teaching their sons to disrespect their father's authority, which I'm not going to say she's doing that here, but she is allowing him to disrespect another man's authority because mm -hmm. he is the authority figure in the home he is paying the bills mm -hmm. and i can tell you this as a as a father uh, a, especially a stepfather you definitely not about to be trying to argue with her son mm -hmm. okay and you know you paid all the bills and doing the right thing you shoot you want her to act right Absolutely. last thing you want is them to be smarting off to you telling telling you what they're gonna do and ain't gonna do you mm -hmm. see what i'm saying so that will make a man say well i'm just gonna stop paying these bills and move i mean mm -hmm. he he probably brought it up in a way that he shouldn't have brought it up don't mm -hmm. get me wrong um, he did call her weak and say some things that if I, if that was my mama he was talking to, if he would have got a different version of me. I'd have mm -hmm. turned my, he'd have, he'd have saw my mama's protector mm -hmm. right there on the spot the way he was talking to my mama. Mm -hmm. I, at this point, I don't care. You know how you be like, I don't care if mama wrong. You're going to watch how you're talking to my mama. Because mm -hmm. he told her she was weak. And I, that's it. as a son, I'd have turned around and said, what you say, bro? Mm -hmm. But uh, you know what? <laughs> but again, again, 
that that wouldn't have been good. But mm -hmm. I would, I, as a son, I, I, I'm toxic. I won't protect my mama now. Which says a lot because her son is at this point 29 years old and that's how uncomfortable he is with his own masculinity that he wouldn't even initiate that conversation to say, mm -hmm. you're being disrespectful towards my mother. He's following his mother's lead and he doesn't have his own course of action for himself. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do, family, it'll just be these two videos. I don't want this video to go over long, so I'm going to let this one play again. And I want to show you where these red flags are. But I want you guys to, to focus on these red flags and try to discontinue them. I know a lot of you guys are going to want to, you know, lash out and say well, how this video made you feel. And I get it. It hurts to hear the truth. Right. But change so we can raise our sons to be healthier, okay? Absolutely. But let's watch this video again. I'm going to point out some of these red flags to you as they happen. I'm telling you, yeah, he's coming I mean, in right I, now. I, I, I let him know what's up. And then it? when he, he ain't going nowhere, that's my what? son. That's my. That's Already, she says, I'm going to see if you're going to tell him. He's coming in right now. So this is the mother's fault for bringing the son into this adult conversation. We are the bill payers, okay? I'm paying the bills. You are my wife. I'm talking to you about your son. I think it's time for him to move out. He is 29, so this is a logical conversation to have. Mm -hmm. Her ego's tied up into it because it's her son that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. and she doesn't want to tell her son to move out. Mm -hmm. She probably thinks that's going to hurt his feelings, but he's 29, Okay. But again, this is a conversation that two adults would have. This is a normal conversation. Mm -hmm. Kids are getting pretty old. It's time to move out. He is 29. It's not like he's 18, family. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, and then she says, well, I'm going to tell him about this conversation. This could mess up the relationship between that man and her son. It sounds mm -hmm. like he's been, been in the life a while. Mm -hmm. She said, he said he met them when he was 22. So he was 22, still living with his mama. Okay. That's not 29, mm -hmm. but he said he was 22. So he, his, he has to have been around a little while, mm -hmm. but saying, hey, he wants you to move out could definitely distort the relationship between Absolutely. those two men, right? Mm -hmm. But let's go. Only son. At some point, he got to go. Never no time. I mean, at some point, he Never got to no go. Never no time. Never no time. Are you talking about? Well. See, she even disagrees with at some point, he's got to go. Never no time. Yo, at some point, though, he does have to go, Absolutely. right? Is he going to have his own family one day? Like, what you mean, never no time? Absolutely. I know you said, I don't care if he get 50. I know that you would. But we're talking about him. We're not talking about what you would do as a mother, what you would allow him to do as a mother. We're talking about him as a man. Mm -hmm. At some point, he does. I mean, come on now. Stop. To establish his own house. He has to at some Absolutely. point, right? That's like saying at some point, he's going to come out of them diapers. Diapers, never, no, never. <laughs> if he and them diapers till 50, I'll change his diapers. Of course you would if he was mentally, you know, incapable. You would, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't encourage him to keep the diaper on because you love him. You wouldn't. You would say it's time for you to come out of these diapers. Like, exactly. it's time for you to work on your independence and use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Like, like you should, you're a growing boy. It's time for you to do these things. Absolutely. Your love for your child will cause you to spoil him, and it's not good for boys at all. It's not good for girls either, but yeah. it's it's detrimental for boys, Agreed. okay? Because you break the home. He can't go off and be productive and lead the family because you broke him. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And like, he's going to be looking for someone to take care of him as thoroughly as his mother. Absolutely. Tell me, Christian. No, nah, you tell him. Well, we talking about you grown and you got to go somewhere. I told him, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going no damn way. You go when you get ready. Man, I just feel... She said, you tell him, and then she proceeded to tell him. No, you tell him. He talk about you going out there when you get <laughs> <laughs> Yo. At some point, you need to um, make your own way. That's that's what I, you know. I... That is a fact. Right. I just feel at some point, you need to make your own way. As a man, mm -hmm. you need to make your own way. Like, that's facts, yo. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. You want to walk through the house naked sometime, and there you go. You know, so uh... irrelevant. Now, it's a fact that sometimes it's a fact that eventually he, he got to make his own way. You got to make your own way. But as kings, I'm gonna tell you this now: if you're gonna step in there and raise a child up that's not your own, and and really be a functional parent in that home and be a functional father, I get you want to walk around the house naked. But if we keep letting these ideas push our children out the house. We're going to keep pushing our children out the home before they're ready to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's hard out here. And you know that you know that's true for a black man. OK, so your child going to get a job and have a couple have a job for a couple, six months to a year. And now you already putting them out to have them pay their own bills and try to get ahead in life. And, you know, it's hard, man. It's mm -hmm. difficult. So what we should be doing is try to encourage our children to be entrepreneurs while they're in the home. Mm -hmm. right? Save your money. Don't don't give it to me. Don't spend it. Save your money so you can buy something when you move out. So you don't have to struggle with how you're going to meet your ends every month. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's not so I can walk around the house and be naked. Like, I don't want you to move out 
for, for what I want to do at the house myself. Mm -hmm. I want you to be a man. I want you to have a family and lead your legacy. Absolutely. This is not personal to me because you're going to sound like a, like a real butthole. If you, if you talk like that, I want to walk around butt naked and you in here. Mm -hmm. So, so he was going to kick him out now. And now he has to just carry it all on his own. Mm -hmm. Like we, we as parents have been doing that for far too long. Just cause you're 18, you know, you're not about to eat up my, my food in my refrigerator. You're grown now. Well, did you raise them to take care of themselves? If you did not prepare them for that, you cannot use all of these reasons to put him out. Mm -hmm. Now, as a stepfather, if you have been in his life, what you should have done as a stepfather is take that young man under your wings and you mm -hmm. teach him to be masculine. You start giving him little tidbits of advice when that mother's not around you on how to be a man. Mm -hmm. You start asking him, what type of house do you want to have? You want a big house, a little house? You want a trailer? Start in, start intriguing him about moving out. Get him excited about it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so this is how you build a man. Mm -hmm. But you don't go to his mama. He's 29. You go into his mama to have a conversation about what he talked to him man to man now. He's a man now. Mm -hmm. You want him to respect you like a man? Go talk to him, not his mama. Because you're still treating him like a boy. Both of y'all treating him like a boy. Absolutely. Because you're discussing this with his mama. Mm -hmm. I would have been talking about that young talking. That young man would have went to his mother, mother said, I'm ready to move out. And it would have been all because I encouraged him, mm -hmm. motivated him and gave him all the information that it takes to be able to have your own house. And I would have also encouraged him to mm -hmm. save his mother freaking money, mm -hmm. yo, because I don't want him to move out and have to move back in because that hurts his confidence mm -hmm. and his ability to take care of him, his, mm -hmm. himself because now he doubts himself. Mm -hmm. It sucks because you can have a job today and that job can lay you off. Mm -hmm. So just saying it's time for you to move out now. OK, he moves out. He gets a year leave somewhere and now he loses his job. Now what's going to happen? You see, now you've put your child in these positions to think about things that they may may not have to think about yet. They could be focused on their creativity, mm -hmm. uh, their manifestations, which could turn them into millionaires. But now you got them working a job just so they can get out. Now they never have time to be creative and manifest on their own. So that's still really kind of stripping their childhood mm -hmm. from them. The ability to create themselves when you throw them into the world to have to perform. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, get kicked out just because mm -hmm. they older. You know what I mean? So the conversation is yeah. happening backwards. Well, question, a little bit of feedback for the the men that are playing somewhat of the stepfather. Like mm -hmm. you hear this woman's energy. She's nobody that would allow a man that she welcomed into her into her life that is not her son's fa biological father mm -hmm. and allow him to have authority over her son. You can tell just by the nature of the conversation, she's blocking him at every turn. He doesn't seem that even though he has paid bills, he has any type of uh, anything in the race when it, as it relates to her son. So would you suggest that a man not be invested in this type of situation? Or is it 100% her that if you're going to welcome a man into your life, that you have to allow him to play that role so you could prevent being in a situation such as this? Well, I would say for the man, that is a scary situation. Mm -hmm. You're paying all the bills. You're, you're, you're performing in the relationship. You're being a husband figure to the mother, mm -hmm. but she won't allow you to be a father figure to the son. Mm -hmm. as, as a stepfather, that would be plenty of red flags for me because, mm -hmm. at number one, we, we don't want to raise another man's seed. That's mm -hmm. his seed. We don't want to do that. We prefer that all of our ch we raise all of our children, our children through mm -hmm. her loins, not someone who was there before us. It's it's often said that if it's your it's your second child but her but it's your first child but her second, you know, because she already had a child now. Now you have to um you got you got to kind of mold that child too and be a husband to her. And if she don't allow you to mold that child, I would say that's a red flag. I would mm -hmm. say as a as a man if you, she's going to require you to leave some of your legacy to this child, love that child as if it's yours, but she's going to tell you that you also can't guide the child. Mm -hmm. I would probably step away from the entire situation, uh, honestly. Um, but now for single mothers, I would say this. If you're going to have a man come into your life, you got to allow him to play that role now. Even if he does have a father that comes in, that, that's in his life, you still want a man that's going to be a good model for your son. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that man should have a relationship with your son, you know? And so that's why I'm saying what I'm saying, like the father should have a personal relationship with her son. They should go out, play ball, do things together, like catch, talk, go hunting, mm -hmm. work, do some work together. Just anything where y'all can have these type of conversations mm -hmm. and build and get to know this young boy. You see, now don't get me wrong. Like you said, the mother could very well be in the way. And if you, if you are in a situation like that, where the mother's in the way, um, me personally, I would still try and take the time to, to work with the son in, in my own. I wouldn't try to uh, you know, cross her boundaries, mm -hmm. but I would try to do it, do it in way of, by way of respect. And hopefully if you can mm -hmm. build up a relationship with the son, he's coming to you for that advice. Mm -hmm. He's looking up to you for that advice. If you right. can do that, 
And a lot of times you, you can, you can do that. But again, with a mother like that, it's probably not likely. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I would, so I would that's be surprised definitely a if most of their relationship, situation. he had never even delegated to her son mm -hmm. at all and leaves the parenting 100% up to her. If he did that, then that's a failure on his part. You, still, you can't come into a person's life and expect her to still mother all of her children mm -hmm. and you're not going to participate at all. You're with a person who has children, you know? Mm -hmm. You got to... And that's why... And men, most part, know that. And that's why they mm -hmm. don't want to do that. You right. know what I mean? Because a mother will be like, I want you to love my kid like you love your own. Like, we know that that's dang near impossible. Like, mm -hmm. it's a, it doesn't mean you, does, you don't love her child, but that's mm -hmm. not your child. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're going to be more invested into your child mm -hmm. she probably would too mm -hmm. like if, if, a, if a father asked a woman to say i want you to love my children just as much as you love yours like for a mother we say a mother loves her children more than anyone else in the world mm -hmm. right so how can a mother love his children just as much as she loved the children that came through her mm -hmm. now of course you can, you can treat them the same mm -hmm. but love like come on y'all mm -hmm. you're asking a lot from a person you mm -hmm. see it's really the role that you play now don't you shouldn't ask them to have some um, feeling in the heart as yeah. much as they would for their chip. You see what I'm saying? It's, I agree. Yeah. I mean, what? You know? No, if anything, you can go not him. How about well, that? I want to take all the fucking bills in here. I, you gonna tell me where I can go? I, but the thing is, like, why do I got this is my mama house? Like, why do I got to leave my mama house? Period. Man, you damn near 40 years old. <laughs> damn near it's time to go. I mean, at what point? Why do I got to get out my mama house? Why? Why? See, the way he's talking, that does not sound like a dependent man. At all. Just because it's your mother's house, you think that's a reason to live there? You're a man. Your mother should have a house, and now you should have a house, too. Absolutely. Have a place she can come to and visit you. Absolutely. What do you mean? Why can't I just stay here if it's my mama's house? Well, the reason is because you're, you're an adult, and adults grow up and move out. This would be true even if you were a woman. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to grow up and, and want to move out and start your own family, mm -hmm. become your own man or woman. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a problem. You asking like that's not unnatural to to want to live in your mama. You asking like it's not unnatural to just want to live up in your mama house. Like mm -hmm. I'm she, sorry, at 29, that's you can't little. bring women through there like you like to. Yeah. You can't do what you want to. Your mama there. You don't you want to walk around naked too? <laughs> your mama there though. Like, right. I mean, come on now, you want to uh, do your own thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, but I guess she makes it really easy for him. He does. He's not there all the time like they said. Mm -hmm. So I guess he can come and go as he pleases. Mm -hmm. So it's not really like a problem for him. But mm -hmm. still, you still want to have your own. And, and young men dream about this, having yeah. their own. I'm 29, I'm not. Well, well, well that's pretty good. But years you know what? When but... I met you, you was living with your mama. Man, please. You I was, was living in with and your... out. Come on, man. You was man. living with I, your mama. I, I now was you going to tell me. Now you going to tell me because he, he so 29. I ain't, I ain't getting up. I ain't getting up. I'm not getting up. See how she came for him? This right here, what that does is tells the son it's okay to be in this current condition of being 29 living with mama. That's mm -hmm. not normal. At all. But she said, when I met you, you was living with your mama. Yo, I was 22. That's way different. Mm -hmm. He was 22 and I was in and out. You're still 22. And we, we look at that like that's even too old for a man to live at home. Mm -hmm. But that's not too old for a man to live at home mm -hmm. uh, to, to me. Of course, you can, go to, you can go to college during that time. And of course, like if he's 18, that's, that's when he can get a good job. 21 is not even considered to be an adult. You mean to tell me three years later or one year later, it's a problem for him to still, still live with his mama? But that's how we do, young men. That's why it's so hard for us. You know what I mean? But that's why I'm not totally against him still living there. Oh, you know what I mean? But the way she's arguing it is, you ain't nothing either. You was living with your mama. So mm -hmm. how can you have a problem with this? Right. Even if he was living with his own mama at 29, he could still not want that for her son. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't mean that, like, you, you can't argue like that. That's weird. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, well, you got pregnant at 18. How are you going to tell, like, yeah, I got pregnant. I don't, I don't want them to. And learn from it. Like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't getting up. I ain't getting up. I'm not getting up. I'm, Man, I'm not he going has nowhere. to go. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, so go. house well, you, you ain't got to go you, nowhere. You know what, damn it? They ain't going to pay no bills either then, damn it. Now, how you feel about that? You don't want them to go? I won't pay the bills. Uh, but he going to continue to pay the bills. He got to go, though, man. It's too hard. See, we you can't stop being masculine. You just got to leave the situation. If you can't. Don't stop performing. You're just going to stop paying the bills. Like, just leave, sir. Just leave, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, I ain't paying the bills either. Then we just going to all be lazy, right? <laughs> that's funny, man. But that's what he's... Fr that, a man say that when he's frustrated. Yeah. I'm going to stop paying these bills. You're not going to stop paying no bills. Uh -huh. You got to pay the bills. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
arguing and stuff about stuff. Because, you know, at, the end end of the day, but at the end of the day, all y'all do is tell me to help. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It's like, man, you so grown ass man. Sh- you supposed to know the oh, man, the garbage joke. When your you arms spread you? this far out, you you know you wrong. When you, <laughs> you spread far as far out as Jesus did when he supposedly died, you're like, all you had to do was just tell me. Somebody said all they had to do was, why your arms open so wide? Right. His hands is as far as the east is from the west. Right. <laughs> All you had to do was tell me. Man, you knew you wasn't doing nothing. Right, and you're 29. You <laughs> Look, know good and well. We told you now. Just say, from here on out, I'm going to help around here till I get up out of here. That way the conversation over, Absolutely. right? Because <laughs> me personally, if I was him, I ain't trying to hit him. I'm trying to sell this as soon as possible. Look, whatever you need going forward, I'll do that if I'm going to be in and out. That's cool. And I, I will be looking for another place. I ain't trying to have this conversation. Right. Phil, you supposed to know to take that outside. Come on, man. I don't have to tell you all this stuff, man. But the thing is, I'm barely here, so I'm barely making garbage. So why I got to take the garbage shop? But it also proves he hasn't told him. I know sometimes as, as men, as adults, we feel like, well, nobody should have to tell you. I feel like that, too. But sometimes you do. And mm-hmm. don't live in what you should or shouldn't have to do to get somebody to be aware of something. Mm-hmm. You're raising them, mm-hmm. right? If you're raising them, if she's raising him, if you live with him, then you could just say, hey, man, look. I, when you come and go and stuff at, at, uh, at whatever, just hey, take some trash out sometimes. Clean up. Uh, well, I don't do. I don't make the mess. I'm, I'm only using like one dish. Yeah, but you're living here free of rent, and everybody's gonna be contributing to the household. Absolutely. So when you come home, if it's some dishes in the sink, man, knock this is out for, for your mama. Mm-hmm. Look out for her, right. She, she still let you stay here. She don't even trip on you like you can do that for. Her. Now I'm sure he's probably not washing the dishes, you know, but. Uh, the, the, the 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 father I'm saying uh, the the man who's paying the bills of course I'm sure he ain't watching the dish but the mother probably does but he 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 definitely could have said I, I need this from you so the son isn't totally exempt by making that claim that somebody could have told me mm-hmm. but but he he's kind of right the father could have told him if that's what you wanted from him mm-hmm. if that's how the son has always grown up and didn't have to do these things if she didn't get a boy chores and stuff whatever you see what I'm saying but. He, he should have, if you're going to talk to the mother about it and that be one of your main reasons that he do nothing, you could have said something to the man about it. You know, I, I would I would respect the man more if you talk to me about it, but you, instead, you, instead you're going to go talk to my mama about mm-hmm. what I'm doing. Like, I wouldn't like that personally. You know, we grow, we both grown, bro. Why are you talking to my mama about it? Mm-hmm. I'm barely here. If I'm barely here, barely making garbage, barely making dishes, like, why would I got to do anything? Well, she going right. to always make excuses for you, man. But- right, he don't even be here. So what? what is you talking about? He don't be here like that. He come here, well, he sleeps, and then he don't business the rest out. of the day. See, she sees no reason for the son to be disciplined. She sees no reason for the son to contribute just because he, he should contribute. Mm-hmm. Just for being a man. It don't have to be a reason. Absolutely. It don't have to be, well, you're using up food, you're using all this, you're using all of that. No, you're here, mm-hmm. so you contribute. If you're in a home, mm-hmm. you contribute to making that home work. Mm-hmm. It's simple, man. And he might not have been told previously, but he's being told now. And, and his response is, I'm barely here, so I barely contribute to the trash, so why should I have to take out the trash? That sounds like someone that does not want to contribute. They just want to get out of the conversation. He's saying you should have told me, but if you would have told him, that's what he would have said. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Like Exactly. When he's here, he needs to help out. He needs to do some things. He well, needs to I tell be you re- what. He ain't okay. paying no well, bills. Well, damn it, he, he ain't gonna start got paying some bills around but I ain't paying. But I gotta pay. I'd rather want to get the fuck out. But listen, my mama said I gotta pay no bills. I ain't, gonna, I'm not, I ain't paying no bills. He gotta pay. See right there. Now he made a suggestion. He can start paying some bills, right? Let's say he comes there and stays for a night. Maybe he leaves 25, 30 bucks or something like that. Cause mm-hmm. a hotel gonna, co- gonna cost way more than that. At least he's contributing something, mm-hmm. but he don't even want to hear it. He, I ain't doing none of that. If mama say I ain't got to, I ain't got to, mm-hmm. but you're talking to the man who is paying all the bills. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? If mama say I ain't got to, I ain't got to. If mama say I don't have to grow up, if mama say I don't have to be a man, then I'm going to be a child forever. If mama say I can live here till Absolutely. I'm 50, I'm going to stay here till I'm 50. Irrelevant if your mama say you can stay here till you 50. You still should be out as soon as you possibly can because you want your freedom. Absolutely. That's how it should work. It shouldn't be like if my mama said, my mama said, you sound like Bobby Boucher. <laughs> That's a- I want him to do is save his money and do what he see, needs to do with his see, money and why not pay no bills. This- now, wait. I need him to save his money and do what he need to do with his money and not pay no bills. Mm-hmm. Now, if that's the case, that's what I, that's what I be saying for my son. Mm-hmm. Save your money. Mm-hmm. But now, 
if he buying all types of clothes and stuff and you can see he's not saving his money, mm -hmm. I would definitely say something about that. Absolutely. Like, you know, listen, it's time for you to learn how to budget your money. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I get you buying a couple things that you like and I ain't against that, mm -hmm. but it's time for you to set a budget. How much per week are you putting aside, per check are you putting aside mm -hmm. for your living expenses when you move out or to pay your home off and stick within that budget? Because I'm definitely ain't trying to see you go to work and just spend all your money mm -hmm. and just come home because you got one. Absolutely. I want to see you do what men do. We have to budget. Mm -hmm. we, listen, there's bills to pay, so mm -hmm. you can't raise your child to, to live like there are no bills to pay because mm -hmm. when they move out they'll still be a victim of instant gratification and just buy things that make them feel good and when bill time come they're gonna come to you barring it mm -hmm. or they're gonna get kicked out or go to their friends barring it or they're gonna have horrible credit and their life just gonna be rough because mm -hmm. they're just gonna keep on cycling the crap that you taught them mm -hmm. you understand be responsible Absolutely. Buy, you can buy some things that you that you like but if you're not being responsible it's gonna come back to bite you badly mm -hmm. i'm telling you Absolutely. whole life gonna reflect that so shit you bring it to her, you still got the titty in the mouth. You let oh, all that stuff no. go on. Nah, yeah. you know what? See, very inappropriate. He shouldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that's going too far, but that's he's frustrated at this point, but Man, you got to be able to negotiate a conversation without reverting to things that's going to definitely insult a person. Mm -hmm. Don't tell her she still got her breasts in the man's mouth. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, that was another way you could have said that. But again, there was no time to, uh, he didn't take any time to regulate what he was going to say, showing that he respected her. Mm -hmm. So now she's allowed another man in, into her life who di literally disrespects her in front of her son. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So... Uh, that ain't good because the son is really allowing it to happen. And I, I guess I shouldn't say allow it. He is the son, but it's probably common that they talk like this to each other because the son don't seem to be like triggered by it. Because if I heard somebody say it to my mom, I would have been ego about me too because ain't no titty in my mouth. My, my mama's titty ain't in my mouth. Right. So I'd be like, what you say? I'm 29. You just told my mama her titty. That's an insult to me too. Absolutely. But he's just going to let them talk. <laughs> you know what that, I know? That, you know, you jealous. <laughs> you jealous of my only you will say, you say some bull crap. Girl. Telling him that he's jealous of the son only tells the son that the man has absolutely no point in what he's saying. And now the son has every right to continue being the way he's being. Actually, mm -hmm. you've empowered him absolutely. by telling him the father's only saying this because he's hating on you. Somewhere the son could have thought that. Man, maybe this man hating on me. He got a problem with me. Now you just answered all of these preconceived notions that the son just had. You should never do that. Mm -hmm. If someone gives you the argument and gives you what they think, never misinterpret their argument and then re-say their argument in different words for them. That's called gaslighting. Mm -hmm. You just, I know what it is. You just, just, no, what he just said was, I want your son to move out because he's 29. He mm -hmm. don't ever help out or do anything. And mm -hmm. I want to walk around naked. Absolutely. Did he say I'm jealous of your son? Mm -hmm. So why would you do that? Now this man has to deny some claim, some assertion you made over him. That's weird, man. Mm -hmm. Now that's that something you didn't have to argue about that. Now you're arguing about something that ain't even that ain't even there. Just some hypothetical bullcrap. He's jealous of the son now. Jealous? The son is 29 and still living there. Uh, he has a point, yo. Now mm -hmm. if the son was 15, then he might be jealous. But this man is 29 years old. Right. Like, come on now. If you just not, but I just know I ain't getting on my mama house. And like, if, you, if, like, if I gotta get on my mama, you gotta put me on my mama house. That's the end of the day. Well, damn, I'm be carrying. You got to go. Oh, you got me to carry the profile then. If ain't that's the case. I know why I'm going to carry them out. I to shoot them on out. And you, Michael, Michael, now you know good and damn well I'm not kicking my son out. Well, what point do you expect? No, I don't worry about it. Like, if, if, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm here. I live here, so until I'm ready to get out, I'm going to be here. So it don't at what me. point is you trying to. Uh, what, what, what What's your plans for this man? That's a good question. What's your plans for this man? But. Why does it matter what her plans for that man is? See, it already shows you that man ain't got no plan of his own because he's asking his mother right in front of him what's her plans for him. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to tell you here. I think the mother's being very toxic in how she's, how she's responding to him in this conversation. I think she's very toxic in how she raises her son in terms of him being a great man and leader when he mm -hmm. moves out. But I will say I commend her for loving her son because mm -hmm. a lot of women will put their sons out just because some man asks. Absolutely. Stick by your child with, with everything in you, family, but... She should know at this point she got some some corrections to meet. She has mm -hmm. already failed her son. Mm -hmm. Putting him out now would only fail him more. Mm -hmm. So she needs to try and repatch or restore some of the things that she already messed up in his life mm -hmm. by helping him build some discipline. She should go back to her son after thinking, after seeing our video, she should go back to her son and say, son, I haven't been raising you the right way. Mm -hmm. I do, it is important that you become a man mm -hmm. for you, even if I allow you to live here forever. I will always have your back. You always got a place to go. Mm -hmm. But I know it's important for you to be the best man that you can be. 
so you can carry on your legacy and so you can be a great father. Mm -hmm. That's very important. So I want to move out of the way and I want to encourage you to to accomplish your independence. OK, mm -hmm. I want you to capture that. OK, to conquer that. I, I want to see you get your own home. I want to root for you. I want to be. I want to be excited for you. I want to come visit you at your home. Absolutely. You know, I want to. I want to get you some housewoman gifts. Mm -hmm. I want to support you in your endeavors to be a man. I really do. Mm -hmm. That should be the conversation going forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you can't continue on this path. I'm not mad at her. I'm not saying that she did anything wrong in terms of what she. In terms of her not putting him out, but in how she raised him led up to mm -hmm. this conversation, y'all. So. I'm, uh, believe me, I'm not saying, yes, you need to kick that man out. I, I'm not like that. I don't see that for men or women. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, but men do need to have their independence. The way I do it is I tell my, my daughter, you need to be able to take care of yourself before you try and move out. So I'm going to try to encourage encourage all attributes that lead to her being, taken, to her being able to take care of herself. Mm -hmm. I tell my sons, you got to be able to take care of yourself and someone else before you move out. Mm -hmm. The reason is I'm old school. I want my sons to be able to take care of uh, of him and his wife's or a girlfriend's necessities while, while they build up to form forming their marriage. Mm -hmm. So I want him to, to be able to take care of him and her. OK, in case just just because, you know, um, as a man, you want to be able to provide. So just having enough for you doesn't mean you should go out and start dating. She's going to want things. She's going to need things. And you have to you have to be ready for that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I encourage my sons to be able to take care of you and somebody else. But mm -hmm. my daughter be able to take care of you. You mm -hmm. understand? But if you can't take care of yourself, I don't want you out there on the streets, though. I don't want you to move out so I can walk around naked or, or have my home to myself. I don't, that's, I love my children. Mm -hmm. They're everything to me. So I'm not in my mind thinking about how soon they moving out and how happy mm -hmm. I'm going to be when they gone. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to be every bit their father when they move out. I ain't going to, I don't, I'm not looking for like breathing room. Mm -hmm. Okay. When they move out, I'm still going to be there anytime they need me. Mm -hmm. For, as far as advice and things like that goes. You know what I mean? But uh, don't coddle your children, family. As you can see, it only cripples them. And where, where normally a child who has a mother who is given direction and discipline, they'll yearn to get out. Mm -hmm. They have, they got a curfew. Mm -hmm. They got to take out to clean up their room. They got to do chores. Mm -hmm. They will be thinking, I can't wait till I get my own Absolutely. place. And you want that. Mm -hmm. It's called stirring up the nest. Do not allow them to be so comfortable Absolutely. that you cripple them, yo. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. The first, the first conversation. Oh, and this video has a little bit more, but I don't think we need to play. We already kind of let in this video, but mm -hmm. you know, she he does tell her that uh, that she's weak and she's doing that to her son. That's mm -hmm. not wise either. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you can see, guys, the first video was was definitely more toxic than the than the first. I mean, it was more, more toxic than the second uh, by way of uh, just how she was carrying herself, her own behavior. Mm -hmm. But as you can see. Uh, you can have a crippled son, whether or not you're doing the toxic, the, the out, outlandish toxic things, mm -hmm. or you're just not um, catering to his masculinity. Mm -hmm. You understand that both of those look like a failed man mm -hmm. because that man may not be able to go out and lead a healthy family because of how you raised him. Mm -hmm. You understand? So back up, allow your child, your children to be men um, and all that good stuff. OK. And of course, we're going to talk about some of the of, of toxic relationships towards mothers and single mothers. Um, but not in this video, but we have seen them for, forge best friend relationships with their daughters, mm -hmm. um, look to live off of their daughters when their mm -hmm. daughters go into nursing or being a lawyer, whatever case they may be. They want to move in with their daughters and mm -hmm. have this best friend roommate ish type of relationship. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you guys, fathers typically don't do that. OK, fathers don't look to live off the backs of their children. Mm -hmm. If you're doing that as a mother, please know that you are by default creating a codependent relationship on your children. Mm -hmm. Your children should need you. You shouldn't be thinking about how you're going to need your children. Okay. Absolutely. So that is a codependent relationship that will ultimately cripple your child. Mm -hmm. Don't ask them what they're going to buy for you when they get their NFL contract. You stay out of that. Absolutely. You leave that alone, man. That's crazy, Absolutely. yo. Don't do that, yo. Mm -mm. That's bad. All right. Enabling is not love by mm -hmm. any means. It may make you feel like you're expressing love and being loving towards your child, but the ultimate long-term effects will stunt their growth. It will strip them of confidence and create an adult that is always looking to you for validation instead of finding that from within and allowing it to propel them forward. If you are creating fears within your children and you don't want to date and it's dangerous out there and you're trying to create a a um 
confining mentality to where they always want to be home because to them the world is scary you have to allow them to have these experiences so they can build up their confidence in themselves and go out here and face things that will push them outside their comfort zone i understand that the world in itself is chaotic and you want to protect them from everything but in reality it's kind of a good thing that you cannot protect them from everything otherwise they would not learn and they would not develop you have to allow room for that when they are confident in taking a step you might have to step back and allow them to take those steps to see how it plays out but be prepared as a parent to catch them when they fall make sure you have your band-aids <laughs> and be ready to pour into them as far as confidence goes, mm -hmm. but trying to keep them from moving forward only creates their dependence on you. And the reality is, as a parent, you're supposed to prepare them to fly the nest. You will not live forever. You, eventually, you won't be there for guidance. Tomorrow. Exactly. You won't be there for guidance. You won't be there to loan, to loan them money. You won't be there to make sure they do everything they need to do. During the time that you have them is for you to make sure they have all the tools that they need to move forward. And if they aren't able to dig into their pocket for the tools you gave, they at least have the resources in their mind to know how to discover an answer to a question that they don't have. That is still a tool in themselves. So you have to be confident in that. And eventually you have to release and let go. That's right. Let them go. At some point as a parent, you have to display your confidence in your ability to raise your child and say, I know I gave them everything. They are resourceful. They're resilient. They're smart. They know how to look up information. They know how to ask questions. I gave them enough to be able to navigate any situation. So the rest is there for me to catch them and be here for advice. When they need it, they will come to me. That's a fact. And be happy in that. But you can't raise your child and never be prepared to let them go. Absolutely. It doesn't do anything for them or you. Mm -hmm. You you should you you earn to relax after a certain amount of time. Once you pour it into your child, it's just watching them live. And you get to relax and wait for them to come to you. You should look forward to that day, not grab them so tight. Open your hands. Right. <laughs> give, give, give them your best self, the best information that you have to offer. Try the information that you have to offer, knowing that you are not promised tomorrow. Absolutely. Okay, but don't try and live into how they live their lives and all this type of stuff, family. All right? Be encouraged. If you are a son who was raised by a single mother and you recognize that you have some of these qualities, please challenge yourself to cl and claim your crown to become a man again, to truly become a man. Okay? Be more disciplined and consistent. Okay? Manifest from within, family. If, you, if you're not good at it, don't quit early. Uh, disqualifying yourself, keep going because that's how you get good at things. Okay, family? Mm -hmm. Pick yourself up and dust yourself off because it's not too late for you to be the man that you're supposed to be. All right? Be evolution. Be the change that you want to see. No candle loses its flame from lighting the other. And if you were to ever find yourself in the middle of chaos... It is in that chaos that you have found yourself. And oh, yeah. You will never have the courage to cross the ocean until you have the courage. You will never cross the ocean... <laughs> until you have the courage to leave the shore. That's what I mean. All right, family? I love y'all. Peace. Peace. Bye. <laughs>